Hi, my name is Owen. Welcome to my channel. In the audience is Maxi. Today is the 20th of September, which means that for a lot of orchid growers in the Northern Hemisphere, the growth period for dendrobiums is coming to a close. I live in the Philippines, so we, we don't have winter rests, winter dry month. Um, fuck it. Hi, my name is Owen. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 20th of September, which means that the growth period for dendrobiums is fast closing. Hi, my name is Owen. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 20th of September, which means that the growth period for dendrobiums is fast closing. The growth period is from July to September, although in my experience, it can start as early as June and can end as late as October. Now, during this time, your dendrobiums will be very busy producing new leaves, producing new roots, making new growth, making kikis or baby plants. It's also during this time when they lose their blooms, although for some of them, this is also September. September is... Um, the blooms will be in the last stages by September, the last few days. So this one bloomed late in the season. So during the growth period, your since your your dendrobiums are using a lot of energy growing, this is the best time to give it the most sun you can give them without exposing them to direct light. I keep them in a bright location with lots of ventilation. I water them every three days and I fertilize them every week using a grower special from Siam 301010 and my orchids love it. During this growth period, I have, I've had four kikis on all of my dendrobiums. So, um, October is fast approaching, um, but I will not be changing my watering um, routine, not until maybe in December. Sept September is in the Philippines. July is the end of summer and the start of typhoon season, which means we still have long days. In September and October, we still have long days, although most of them will be overcast. So that's a problem I have growing these orchids. But somehow they survive. They ha they still have the nice green kind of olive color leaves, which means they're getting enough sunlight. Um I'm I I will probably follow Brad's advice. Brad from Brad Greenhouse had this really smart advice. He said not to water between Halloween and Valentine's Day, not to water your dendrobiums. But that's not written on stone. When you notice that the canes on your dendrobiums start to wrinkle, which means they're drying up, that means they're dehydrated. Um, if I if I noticed that, I would probably spray my dendrobium. Not, not soaking, or maybe 
um, run water through the pot just to give them a little drink so there that's my update for this growing for this growth period if you like this video let me know leave a comment below thank you for watching